Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you've probably noticed, I have not posted in a very long time. And hold on a minute, I have got to turn these, I've got to roll this window down. <sighs> it may be fall right now, but it is still, it is hot right now. That's what I get for wearing a sweatshirt in this heat. Anyways, so I just wanted to like come on here and talk about why I've not been on YouTube and why I've not posted in a long time. I've like really been struggling mentally guys. Like I've, I've just not been in the best place mentally. That it stems from a lot of things. I feel like two years ago I started um, cosmetology school and um, to be, to do hair, but I intentionally wanted to go into that to do makeup and I was misled but I started to like it and everything but I had not realized like how stressful it was because there was like some days like I did not eat lunch it was that was really hard and like, being there mentally like having to be somewhere like I felt so overwhelmed because I had to be at school and then right after that I go straight to work I didn't get to go home to like take a break it's like rest it was just like, I was being just pushed so much mentally that it like, just like, I just could not take it. I remember like two months in, I was just like, I like broke down at work. It was bad. Like I just broke down. I just like could not do it anymore. I was just like feeling so much pressure on me to like have to show up and be present mentally like so long of the day. Like, I felt like I just could not get a breath and I just felt like people were just coming at me at all angles. You know, it just felt overwhelming and it was just too much. I remember like just breaking down at work and then I remember going in my car and I was like, God, like you're gonna have to do something because if if something does not change, like I don't know what's gonna happen. Something has, something's gotta give. Like I can't keep dealing with this. I remember he, him telling me to just be still. Literally if that means to just like, to just be still and just stop and just take a breath and just you know try to calm down your mind and like you don't have to be present for all of these things like you don't have to feel like you have to be you have to show up and be there for everything like it's okay to take care of yourself i just felt like the holy spirit was telling me that and that's just what i interpreted what he was what god was telling me and like what that meant behind be still there's a scripture and I, i'm gonna paraphrase it because i don't really know it by heart but it says, I'll put it up on the screen, but it says, be still and know that I am God. Like the context behind that is like so deep. It just means like be still in his presence and know that he is God and that he is going to supply your needs and that he is not going to leave you alone. Like he's going to be there with you. And so like that is what that scripture means. But all he told me was just like to be still. And that comes from that verse and that scripture, even if that means to just go throughout your day and just complete things, simple things that you do every day that you don't think about. But that way you're in the present moment because what I tend to do is like, I tend to like look so far ahead into the future that it just overwhelms me. And I get so overwhelmed. It feels so much pressure. Like I have to show up for this. I have to be here for this. Like I have to do all these things and it can get so overwhelmed because your mind just goes and that sounds overwhelming just talking about it you could obviously see like why that happens like, i've never went to a doctor before and like been diagnosed with anxiety but i know that's what i have i just feel so much pressure and i feel like that's happened more recently like as you know with this generation like i think ever since we've been introduced like in my generation been introduced to technology i feel like it's just like anxiety and depression is just like really skyrocketed because we're seeing so many things on social media that are not true and that we think are true and it's just like this fantasy that's not real that's just like where i've been i've been struggling with like anxiety because i'm back in school now having i didn't realize like having to be present for that amount of time like my social meter <laughs> It literally goes down after like about an hour of hanging out with people. I just feel like that is how I am. And I feel like even kids in school right now are experiencing that. Like you have to be there for so amount of like so long in the day and you have to be present for those hours of the day. And it's so long. It's like we're working, actually working. It feels like we're working because of how present we have to be. There's no reason like why we need to be present that long of the day. Like lately I've been struggling with depression and it's, it's just like, it's 
when I explain it to people, I'm just telling them like, I'm used to it so much that it like, it does not affect me. It's affecting me internally, but I don't want to bother other people with it because I just like feel like it's not their burden to carry. Like it's mine to deal with. And so like, you know, I tell people that it's like, I tell my closest friends and like my family that, that will listen and hear me out that it comes in waves. Like one day I'll be great and like literally have the best day ever. And then the next day I'm just like not doing good. And it's just like a mental funk. Like that's what it is. It's all in the mind. I know that's coming from the enemy and like praying and like talking to God, to like get that off of me. And that's just like how I've been doing, but also I've not been, I've been struggling in my faith lately. It's what's affecting a lot of this. It's like, I'm not like in the word, like I should be, and I'm not like, praying as much as I should and that's on me I've just like been trying to work on that and I've just been trying to focus on my faith mentally and, and spiritually I'm just been trying to focus on my relationship with Jesus because that's first and foremost and that's like what I strive to be better in every day like it's what my foundation is on but yes there are days that I slip up and there's days that I fail but he still loves me I'm trying to give myself grace and and trying to remember that he still loves me whether I like I read the word or not but he I also want to be better at reading the word and be better at you know praying with him I just like took a break there's been videos that I have had on retainer that I've not edited like I meant to edit and I've not like, just not felt motivated I've just like not felt like wanting to edit those videos and like I don't want to just post because that's what I'm supposed to do and that's what it's expected. I wanna post because I feel great about that video. Like, I feel like you guys are gonna love that. And if I don't feel inspired, how are you guys gonna feel inspired? Feel inspired, like my mindset behind that. And that's just why I've not been posting. I've been dealing with like, you know, school. I've been dealing with anxiety and depression and, just, and like trying to focus on my faith. And just not really feeling motivated. Like I've just made these videos and I'm just like, why am I making this? I don't feel inspired. I don't feel creative making this. Like, I don't feel good about posting this. There's a video, there's like two videos that I've made, but the person that's in that video, we no longer speak anymore. So um, I cannot share that. So, but I hadn't even, I was gonna edit it and I didn't, but it's not that I didn't feel inspired by it. I just didn't get time to do it. I've been, I've had those on retainer, but obviously I can't post that one, but there's like, videos that I just like that I want to make but it's like I don't have time to do them I really want to get back in the swing of doing things just give me some grace as I'm like trying to figure out how to film like what to film what time works for me and like how to go about that because I film on my phone low budget and um I edit on my phone too which is there's no problem with that as I'm like trying to figure out where I want to direct this channel just like give me some grace when posting I know I've not, like, not posted in a year I think it is I think it's been a year but I'll put up here you know I'll put it up somewhere up here <laughs> let me know down in the comments uh what you guys want to see me post like what kind of videos do you want to see I kind of like want to make this like a lifestyle vlog channel thing just about my day and you know maybe like I want to do makeup too and you know Q and A's and like all that stuff so that's kind of like where I want to take this channel let me know down in the comments if you feel good about that and if that's something that you want to see me do I really want to get back in the swing of things I'm still like you know working through my battles and as you guys can probably relate in the comments you can let me know down in the comments how you if you have been dealing with the same thing and we can like do this together and like I also want to do bible studies on here like I really want to do that and like bring my cousin in and like we can do bible studies with you guys and just talk about the lord the next video you might you will probably see after this is my little sister's birthday her birthday party is coming up soon so i'll be filming that so that's what's coming up but yeah just let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see if you're if you like my ideas for what i want to do with this channel any suggestions you have for videos i will do them so just let me know we're going to do this together. We are in this together. If you are currently struggling with anxiety and depression, I personally 
would recommend doing therapy. I've never done it, but I really want, I've been looking into that and I really know that's something that I need to look into is to do therapy. And then it's like really good for you. It's nice to get those emotions out and to process what those emotions are and know how to deal with those emotions when they come back. Let me know in the comments if you're currently, you know, going through that and we will get through it together. Thank you guys for watching this video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love you guys.